tonight on Running Wild with Ted Nugent. <laughs> I invite three adventurous souls to join me in the wilds of Texas, right here on my sacred private hunting ground, the mighty Spirit Wild Ranch. For the next three days, I will put their survival skills to the ultimate test. Track me down by using the sun and a compass. Can they take the heat, or will it be too hot? This is not what I signed up for. Then I'm going to see who can evade Predator Ted. Ah! In the end, there can only be one winner. The one that can run wild for me. Ted Nugent. Three competitors. <laughs> Running in the wild. escapes. Running wild from Ted Nugent. My name is Tom Nelson and I'm a retired aerospace engineer. This is why I took up bow hunting. I may be an old fart, but I can still bring it. My name is Anita Jackson, and I am from Lebanon, Tennessee. I'm a professional chef. I feel very confident in my knowledge and my experience and my abilities to survive in the woods. Uh, my name is Joe Inglesby. Uh, I'm 33. I'm a drummer. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. My chances of winning are 100% strong because um, you know, I just don't quit. I can offset some of the advantages other competitors might have. I've got 68 years packed into my memory. Hopefully some of that will come in handy. I came to Ted's Ranch to rekindle that spirit that I had kind of put in the back corners after my father passed away. It's a great way to start. Here I am, just some rock and roll dude, and who gets to party with the nudes, you know what I mean? It's my kid in the candy store. What you doing down there? The eagle has landed. Greetings, fellow dogs. You feel it? Right on. I'm All right. It. I'm going to take you on a survival journey that is going to test and challenge everything that you are made of. Three glorious, greasy days on my ranch, my sacred grounds, my rules. Let's get it on. There are five basics you've got to have to survive and run in the wild. Good fire, solid shelter, quality water, and a source of quality sustenance. And ultimately, the ability to improvise, adapt, and overcome. The challenge is you got to get me. About 50 yards north of where we stand right now is a compass and some stuff that you'll need to track me down. When you find your stuff, find the colored block containing your direction. Then use your compass to follow the directions to find the first of three flags. Each flag will have a block with directions leading to your next flag. Follow your flags till you find my location. The first one that finds Uncle Ted is the winner. Now's the time to hit it! It's about 30 yards, 40. We're coming close, we're out of luck. I'm gonna pick uh, red. Okay, I gotta go south 400 yards. Southwest 520 yards. Okay, so that's west. No way, is it? I don't know what I'm supposed to be reading. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna take this fort. Eight, nine, ten. Damn, there's a red flag. Is that my blue flag? Come on! Now what am I supposed to do? 23, 24, 25. <laughs> Go west, 240. Once I found that flag, it was a real confidence booster. 48, 49, roughly 50. Come on, damn it. Where's your blue flag? Don't tell me you went the wrong way. Go south, 230 yards. Right back into the abyss. 25, 26, 27. That was Joey that just went by. I think he might be lost. 
White and red, no blue. I'm gonna get beat by that old dude. Four, 25, 26, 27. Yay! South, 200 yards. I'm walking back this way. I think we're gonna be out here lost for a while, boys. Am I hate to lose. This is it. Next one I've been looking for. I'm going to find Ted, and he's only 90 yards away. Thank God. I'm still gonna finish. 13, 14, 15, 16. Hey! Ted! Over here, Tom. That doesn't surprise me at all. Hey, you have that right. spirit wild, don't you? <laughs> God bless your time. You did great, man. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, you won first place. Come on in here. I'll set you up at the Sunrise Safari's bunkhouse. I'll go find them other two numb nuts. <laughs> have a seat around the campfire. All right. What kind of list do you get on to end up here? Tom, I mean, how'd you get here? You are a guy that has the philosophy that I can subscribe to. Oh, it's not just a philosophy, my friend. It's an entrenchment, I promise <laughs> you. Anita, how did a pretty young lady like you ever end up actually requesting to be here with me? Oh, 2009's been a big year of change for me. My marriage ended, I lost my job. My father passed away. Wow. I gave everything I had away. And there's just something liberating and refreshing about starting over. And Joe, you've never heard it before. Uh, just for good times. Wow. When you're talking about hunting for good times, I can translate that. Because I've dealt with your kind all my life. I'd love to invite Kurt Cobain or Jimi Hendrix or uh, John Belushi or Bon Scott or uh, Keith Moon to this campfire. They got high, they all did. I went hunting, I'm still Ted. And that's because of the spirit that goes into me instead of the party puke drool numb nut chimp behavior. I, I figured, you know, in my 20s I partied and I got in a lot of trouble. And in my 30s now I'm starting to calm down a little bit more. And uh... Well, it's not about calming down, it's about taking control. If you're not clean and sober, you get your ass kicked instead of kicking ass. To have, you know, somebody I look up to, you know, to, you know, pinpoint me out like I'm a, a loser, it hurt me. I'm not a degenerate. You don't want to just hang out like some kind of peer pressured numbna. You want to kick ass. I want to let you in on a little secret. The second challenge begins tomorrow, and that challenge is me. It's not just. Uncle Ted the host, it's Uncle Ted Predator Tedator. I'm coming to get you. If you haven't been paying attention, Joey, you might just become dinner yourself. Having, you know, someone that you, you look up to, look at you with that intensity in the eye saying, you know, I'm coming for you tomorrow. And so I felt that I was being singled out. I'll see you all in the morning. Thank Yowza. You. <laughs> Thank Good you, night. Dude. I don't like being judged by somebody that don't know me. I always respect anyone who has a message as well. I got nothing to say. Coming up. This is not what I'm here to do. I wonder what it's like to quit. And later. Just pit. Ah. This is not what I'm here to do. I don't like to be singled out as a bad guy. Last night, I had some pretty harsh things to say about Joey's way of life, and it seems like he doesn't want to take it. So, I hear Joey's quitting. And I'm out of here. Take care, dude. All right. It's all right. I'll see ya. When Joey announced he was leaving, I was really bummed. I was looking forward to being an old fart kicking his ass. Once my mind's made up, man, it's made up. I got no regrets. I'm not a quitter. I don't care what anybody says about me. 
Boy, I wonder what it's like to quit. That's got to feel strange. Godspeed, Joey. I wish you well. May your dreams glow. Yeah. Whoops. Greetings. Yeah. Anita, you bad. I'm bad. Anita, you, Tom. <laughs> and of course, I need a Joey, but he's gone with the wind. There is no Joey. He go blowy. I hate when that happens. You ready to rock? Ready to rock. It's all about to begin right now. Today's challenge is me. Those that can evade me win. The game is called Running Wild from Ted Nugent, and that is exactly what's going to happen. The second challenge, the hunt. For the next 24 hours, the contestants will be running wild from me, right here on my sacred hunting grounds, the Spirit Wild Ranch. Remember, this is my ranch, my hunt, my rules. Everybody starts with nothing but the clothes on their back. The winner of the first challenge is the only one with a leg up here, and they go with the prize I give them. And to win the hunt challenges, they must improvise, adapt, and overcome. Debate my traps. Use the safe houses provided for them. Find those ammo boxes with the supplies you're gonna need to survive. Food, shelter, water. In the end, those that evade capture live to celebrate another day. I find them, they're out. My goal is to snap them all. So they better be cocked, locked, and ready to rock, Doc, because I am. Anita, Tom, this is where it all begins. I hope you've been paying close attention. You won the competition yesterday, Tom, so I'm giving you a leg up. This is a Bushnell GPS type of backtrack and get down. This will tell you where some of the supplies are, which means, Anita, you're going to have to try harder. Improvise, adapt, overcome, and run wild from Ted Nugent. This is the beginning of the big hunt. I would recommend you hit it. And there they go. Adios. Oh. All right, let's get them. Predator Tedder and Rocco Schnackle. Let's go. We had an elimination even before it started, so now it's just up to Tom and Anita. I could tell they were hardcore into it. They were gung-ho, so I knew their gung-ho enthusiasm was going to make for a gung-ho hunt. Ted had told us there was ammunition boxes full of supplies that we needed, and I wanted them. Whoops! What was that, Anita? <laughs> so it would be to my advantage to... Ah! That scared me, yeah. OK. I have a compass. I just dodged a bullet. I stepped uh, onto uh, a pit that luckily I did not fall into. Trying to get a visual before. Down. Coming up. So and later. Oh! <laughs> Got you. For the next 24 hours, each contestant will be on the run from me, right here in my own backyard. The night is the night of beast. I love the beast. The beast loves me. Great spirit. Great power. I love tooth, fang, claw, garlic, and butter. Wild dogs 
barking literally in every direction. Coyotes are yipping to the south. And there's a hoot owl every 10, 15 seconds raising hell back here. to the uh, to the pond but I think I spotted something over here I'm gonna make a little side track hang on hang on there's a light through these trees see that I think it's my man it's Ted gotta get out of here There's a pit right there. Be very careful. Very clever, Ted. We have somebody moving through right here. Somebody. <laughs> I got my net on you, Daddy. Okay, well, it was fun while it lasted. It was lasted while it was fun. It probably won't be long now, Rocco, before that pursued decides to snuggle into a shelter or a, a cubby hole to spend the night because it's getting late. I think they got Tom. So, that just leaves me. I'm not gonna get cocky at all, but I feel not a little confident. Did you see anything? No, I didn't see anybody. Done good, but we haven't got any. Coming up, you are a spirit dog, but you didn't quite come through. better than any prize I can win. <laughs> and if I get through this challenge and I actually come out and win it, I'm gonna feel really proud of myself. She made it all night. All night long. It's cold, too. Got below freezing. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been here since 10.30 last night. I think she made it. I think she deserves it. She put the Nugent boys in the dust, huh? All right, I guess this is it. Anita, you rock. Um, Nicely done. Thank you. You're a wild escape wilderness My wench daddy. of weasel masterdom. <laughs> My dad trained me well. Your father did well. For three days, I put three adventurous souls through the experience of a lifetime. But only one proved they have what it takes to run with me. Beast is dead, long live the beast. <laughs> Am I a spirit dog or what? <laughs> Anita, you are a spirit dog. I howl with you. Tom, you are a spirit dog. Yes, I am. And I howl with you. But you didn't quite come through. Right place, wrong pit. You might want to take 
Uncle Ted's horn, my gift of horn. May the great spirit be with you forever. Thank you for sharing my campfire. Thank you for having me. Godspeed to you and your families. You may walk due north. It meant a lot to me that he would give me praise like he did. Score one for the old guys. Anita, you bad. <laughs> now, life is an adventure, is it not? Every Lots day. of good, some bad and some ugly. But you seem to have overcome the bad and the ugly, and you turned this into 100% good. Ready to embrace every new journey. Anita does what everybody needs to do. They need to get into the nude zone, improvise, adapt, and overcome, and it's a natural, progressive, upgrade transition, thanks to Uncle Ted. So I bestow upon you the gift from the spirits that has provided my family with sustenance. I give you this beautiful sign skull from a magnificent Texas buck for you and your family. Last night, I realized the past is behind me, the present I have conquered, and the future is beautiful. God bless the American dream, eh? I seen it. I seen it. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how Tom didn't get messed up. That'll bust you up. I know. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> See, your dad knows how to trap Barbie. Yeah, I guess so.